Yo, so guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to reduce input delay and fix lag in GeForce Now 2021. This video should help you and make Fortnite and other games way more enjoyable to play. If you want to see me make a video on how to skip the loading screen in GeForce Now, then let me know in the comment section down below. Like this video as it helps me a lot getting recommended and share this with anyone that plays on GeForce Now. Subscribe with post notifications, let's get straight into the video. Right, so the first thing you want to do is you want to be in Fortnite actually. And so once you load it in, in GeForce Now, you just want to go to your settings. Then once you go to your settings, you just want to go here. And you want to be on a video tab because, um, yeah, you just want to be on video tab. And then you just want to copy my settings. So full screen, 1920 by 1080 unlimited because you'll be on GeForce Now. Brightness, that's optional. This graphic section is optional. However, however you want it adjusted to. And then graphics quality, everything on near, apart from textures, you can put down high on epic. Then you want to go to allow multi threaded rendering and put down on. And now you want VSync off, motion blur off, show FPS on, rendering mode, DirectX 11. Some people nowadays they use performance alpha, I don't use it because it hurts my eyes and I got trapophobia, so I don't, I don't look at it, but other people will look at it. So if you don't mind looking at the really, really bad quality, visuals then you can turn on performance alpha and then you want to turn all of this don't want that on this is optional but i don't use it and then you want to go to nvidia reflex or latency and then you want to turn it from off to on plus boost if it isn't on and after that you just want to uh, exit out the game you want to save you want to save your settings and just exit out the game okay once you've left the game you want to right click on geforce now so like this and then you want to press open to file location once you do that, you want to go down to uh, gforcenow.json and once you do that, you want to right click and you want to go to open with. Make sure you don't have this ticks because it will change like your files to notepads and you might not want that sometimes you want to, but you want you, you do want to go on notepad and then you will press OK and then you want to go all the way down but because when I made, when I first made this video, Everyone was asking me questions like, oh yeah, why I can't find this, oh I don't see it anymore, oh um, can you make a new video on this because it doesn't show anymore. But they, apparently they don't see the JSON file either, but then that means you just want to maybe reinstall your GeForce Now if, that, if you don't see it. And then after that, you want to go down and then you want to go all the way down till you see NV, SDL, I, O, H, I, D, configurable. You want to set that from false to true. And then once you put that on true, you just want to press save. Let's press save, close out this and right click it. Go to properties and you know, um, select read only, press apply and press okay. Now you want to go back into GeForce now through here, run as administrator. And then once you do this, you can see, well here nothing changes, but what you want to do is you want to wait for it to load. Then once it loads, you want to go straight to settings, go all the way down here and you see direct mouse input now that um just minimizes latency when you're playing and then that's not it i have another method for uh decreasing latency and now you want to go back up and then you want to put it on auto for the skipping the loading time is completely different but i'll make that in a new video if you guys want that then you want to just test your network as you can see i am um, this is only because i have like the worst internet in the world like virgin media really just be putting put me in a grave right now so i don't flip and play fortnite anymore because virgin media just be messing with me so as you can see this shit it usually it usually it used to be good but right now it's kind of shit i'll get that fixed soon and then yeah you just most of it should be like uh above 50 like that if you have good packet loss like this like you just want it to be on zero and then your latency your latency is just your ping so if you get 18 then you probably should be getting 18 ping which isn't bad you just want to press close and then you want to move this from bad never have it on balanced i'm going to put that on competitive or if you don't want to use competitive well competitive is always better because it feels more smooth when you're playing games but put it on custom if you don't have like more than 60 hertz and you want to just keep it on custom this and you can customize the resolution if you want it on 1080 i'm pretty sure this puts it on 720 here if you want it 1080 it's better it's best to use custom you can do a custom bit rate you can put that down to 10 or put that up to 50 your choice vsync off or on adjust for poor network conditions turn that on and then yeah 
Network, network status, you can have that on or off, but I don't use that, so I'll just turn that off. And now you want to close out GeForce now. Now, before you open the game, first you want to go to timerresolution.exe. I'll leave a link in the description for the download. As you can see, I dragged it to my desktop here. So once you go on timerresolution.exe, you just want to press on it or right click. Again, run as administrator, blah, blah, blah. And then you want to go put it on maximum. And that changes it from, what, one millisecond to... 0.5 milliseconds and then yeah that's basically like decreasing input delay i guess making your mouse faster i think so if this video helps you out make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel turn on post notifications drop a comment if you need help with anything and i'll try my best to respond to it and uh yeah thanks for watching the video guys i'll see you guys later peace